Hello and welcome to the next part in our green screen exploration. Today we will be working on issues that uh, you may have come across in iMovie green screen effects. Uh, one of the ones we'll be going over is this whole wobbly transparent thing. Uh, increasing the quality there. The other one we will be going over is let's say you used a green screen CG picture or something like that. Sometimes iMovie has trouble with this green screen stuff here. If you were using one of my iMovie sniper scopes from before, from my uh, photo bucket account, the very freaky thing that happens in iMovie 11 is uh, is it changes the color of the center. Uh, look when uh, so I'm gonna zoom in on here. The color is supposed to be this gray, but when you add the CG green part, it turns yellow. The other thing I've come across is sometimes this whole thing just turns gray and this part turns, you know, whatever freaky color. So we're going to be working on fixing both CG green screen stuff and making quality of natural green screens better. So let's delete, uh, so let's delete these old things here and let's get back on to our previous project. So this one is a surprisingly easy fix. I'm going to get rid of the excess footage here. I am also going to zoom in on uh, this part here so I can see more frames per second. Now I can get more accurate. I'm only interested in this little chunk here. Delete a little bit more. Okay. So we have that there. One thing that I forgot to mention is the audio. Sometimes uh, you want to get rid of the audio for your green segment. So just double click on it, go to audio, and you can just change it all the way to zero right here. That'll make the audio of just your background exist and not the audio of your foreground. Your foreground, remember, is your natural green element. If you want to get rid of the audio for the background, it's the same thing. Just double click, and there would normally be an audio tab here, but since this is a picture, it doesn't come with any audio. And here is basically what we're going to do to fix the quality of the, of the image. We do the best we can for now as step one. Just import it through the green screen. Just do the best you can for now. And as soon as the image looks as pretty much as good as you can, all you do is you go to share and export movie. This is that take home message from my other tutorial. Basically the take home message is the export and then the re-import. You want to do this with as high quality as possible but I'm just going to have a medium quality for tutorial purposes. So drag it, put it back in your event library should be down here there you go now here is the part that fixes it grab the video you just imported and you're gonna select the whole thing and put it directly in your first layer of iMovie your bottom layer and click on replace This thing will pop up saying you've modified your project. Well, yeah. And as you can see here, I show up a little bit better quality. What we're doing is making the computer apply this green screen effect onto something that already exists. So it adds those little details that the computer may be missing. It's kind of tricky to explain, but so that's pretty much it. The quality improves with every time you export and then re-import. You do that repeatedly and your quality increases each time. And the poor quality image from before is slowly being rescued. So this works. Now again, you don't have to do this nearly as many times if you use a good green screen room. 
But this is a potential way to save your project. So now let's work on that other issue that pops up when using a natural green screen. So let's get some natural green screen footage to practice with. If you go to my YouTube channel, on the sides here, there is the free movie assets folder that I made for you guys. It's a photo bucket account that basically has a bunch of movie assets that you may be interested in. It has uh, currently three pages, but I tend to add some to it every once in a while when I feel like it. So we're, you just grab something you like. And here we go. This is a sniper scope that I made a while back. If you plan on doing a sniper scope, I've made a tutorial earlier on it specifically, but we're just here to work on the green screen stuff. So, download the file, and remember, when you're adding a picture into iMovie, you just drag it straight into the project itself. I'm going to click green screen like I normally would. Now there you can see it works pretty well in iMovie 11. They tend to have fixed that problem. Now if you were using iMovie 09, what could happen is this area could turn all gray, this area could turn all smushy and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is play some of my previous tutorial back when I was using iMovie 09. And hopefully it'll give you some tips to help you out there. The first green screen issue we will be looking at is this ghost image that can sometimes appear while adding green screen footage to a video. I read some theories on line of how this comes about and it seems to work pretty well in every case I have tried. The reason it fails is there it, iMovie works better with one type of green screen versus a different type of green screen iMovie works a lot better with natural green versus a solid green, a non-natural green. What I mean by natural green is you have some green screen footage and as you can see you have some shadows, uh, it's not one solid color, it's, a, it's actually a cloth here. So iMovie works a lot better with these versus some CG uh, green screen footage where you have one solid color. So to make a, a green screen uh, video into a more natural feeling for iMovie, we're going to be doing something kind of like this, where it distorts the green a little bit. It's brighter in the middle and darker in the edges. So iMovie thinks it has shadows and it's one of those natural greens that iMovie works well with. The way to do this is you take your original green screen footage, double click on it, drag it into your project, there it is, double click on it again, click on video effects, and you want to apply one of these based on the situation in your filming. I personally go with the one in the third row, last column, called Vignette. Once you apply it, you click Done, and there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to export this movie. I already have it exported. Here it is. Once it's exported, drag it back into your event library. Scroll down to where it is, double click on it, and now we're going to add it in place using green screen method. And there we have it. The next topic we'll be covering is how to position and properly orient the green screen elements that we're adding into iMovie. As you can see, I have a computer generated bullet here, but if my gun it's coming out of is not in the middle of the screen this footage is kinda useless so how would we take something like this and move it into something like this in the bottom corner so let's explore that in the following week and use this week to
practice your skills on the exporting and re-importing and use this week to practice your green screening techniques and we'll see you later. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.